thousands of years, gold has been a symbol of wealth and power. But physical gold ownership is challenging for most people. As a result, gold has consolidated into the hands of financial institutions. They hold most of the world's gold. What if physical gold investments could be available to anyone, anywhere? What if physical gold could be more distributed and decentralized amongst the masses? That time has come. Introducing the world's first gold ATM. Cash to 99.99% pure gold that's flexible, durable, and easy to store. Our gold ATMs dispense physical gold that is tested and audited for purity and consistency with state-of-the-art security features so you can have trust and confidence in your gold investment. Transform your paper currency into pure gold instantly. Our gold ATMs democratize gold accessibility by merging tradition with technology. Unlock physical gold ownership with the press of a button. Step into the future of precious metal investing, where the power of gold is now at your fingertips. GoldATM.com. The future is familiar. Welcome back. I remember a time when you could not pull money from a wall. There was no such thing. That sounded like a ridiculous notion. Who would ever do that? And then all of a sudden, one day I woke up and you could pull money from a wall. And by the way, my boss at the then Chemical Bank was one of the people who actually was instrumental in making that happen. It was an incredible moment. And now fast forward all these years later, we all think pulling money from a wall is just a natural thing that we do at least once or 10 times a week. However, uh, you need to get your cash. And now there's something new in town, like everything good needs an upgrade. And we are visiting today with Andrew Carey, the CEO of Gold ATM. So now you can pull gold backs from the wall. And I personally really want to know all about that. So, Andrew, welcome to Good Day. Thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. It's a pleasure. So that little piece of history, I saw you make a face. You're like, oh, that's that's kind of <laughs> cool. <laughs> yeah, it took I, me a minute. I wasn't. Uh, I that was just always, uh, uh, you know, something that I guess was just natural for for me. I did. I wasn't at the point where that was a new thing. Uh, so, you know, it's cool hearing how, you know, from your perspective, it's, uh, it, it was, uh, like a brand new thing. And I think that, you know, we were going a little bit full circle all over again with, uh, sound money, uh, uh, such as gold and, you know, even, you know, there, 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 there's Bitcoin ATMs too, um, uh, which is kind of my background and how we started in the kiosk. ATM industry, um, we we actually, our company, Genesis Coin Inc., um, which is, you know, under the domain BitcoinATM.com, we uh, we founded uh, the, the world's first Bitcoin ATM uh, around 12 years ago. Uh, and, and we put the first Bitcoin ATM um, uh, commercially installed uh, out of San Diego. Uh, and we didn't really know much, but it, it turned out to grow into a, a multi-billion dollar industry over the over 12 years. Um, and we provide a lot of accessibility to to Bitcoin. And and most recently, um, which is the topic of discussion today, is uh, we we took another sound money, uh, a medal of antiquity, gold. And uh, we are taking some of the same technology modifying it as well as working with our hardware vendors to uh, create a brand new vertical uh, called the gold ATM. Uh, and our website is goldatm.com. Uh, and we launched originally in Utah mm -hmm. and then in Nevada. And uh, and that allowed us to go ahead and uh, 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 kind of start to put down gold ATMs and, and experiment uh, with dis dispensing cash for gold. So, you know, I'll, I'll, that was a little bit of a prelude, but I kind of, you know, watching, hearing you talk about the, the first traditional ATM, um, all I can do is speak with kind of the first Bitcoin ATM and now the first, you know, real gold ATM. So. 
No, I love that. And also tracing the history, I think is really cool. It's not just important that we remember where things came from, but I think those of us who have had a part in it, uh, it really making it personal is always is always great. But let's talk about gold for a second, because you know why is gold? I understand Bitcoin, and that was all kinds of super cool because it was like cashless cash. But but now you've kind of taken a step where it's halfway, and we're going back to gold backs, which you know the whole idea of cash being backed by the value of gold is one thing. But why are gold backs um, interesting? Why are they important? Well, I think I I, I wouldn't say that I'm I'm a gold bug naturally. Uh, I I started as a Bitcoiner, and sometimes these different camps get tribal. Like you know, Bitcoiners some fight with gold bugs online about what the best sound money is and. For me, I started out with Bitcoin, but what's interesting is that it 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 led me to the world of gold, believe it or not, which is funny. What what is new kind of, you know, I went on my journey and then over over a long period of time, it led me back to kind of what was old. And really gold bars and gold coins didn't translate well for me. I I don't know about all the different mints and I don't really necessarily understand, you know, the point of putting a gold bar in a safe somewhere, um, you know, and waiting for, let's say, uh, a doomsday scenario uh, or store value situation where I, I need to hold my money uh, in 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 something very heavy and impractical in terms of of exchanging. Uh, now, gold backs kind of hit me right in the mental framework where I could understand because it's gold is cash. Um, I think that, you know, the, the, the unique thing about goldbacks is that they come in five different denominations and essentially they, um, they resemble kind of just the same features as cash. I can count them easily. Um, I can, you know, uh, they're, they're just, they're overall beautiful too. It's, it's not always easy to, to see with the blurriness, but they're like these like little, you know, they look like cash, but they're 24 karat gold, nine. 0.999% gold and they look and feel like real cash. And um, I think that that is uh, for me, it translates well, I can, I can see it, I can count it and I can spend it. And there's over 2000 stores that actually accept gold backs in Utah, Nevada, New Hampshire, Wyoming, South Dakota, and more and more merchants are starting to consider accepting voluntary forms of gold currency. And what's even more interesting is that with the recent kind of out of control spending with the federal government, um, you have many states lacking options for their constituents and residents to have a little bit of some tools where they can escape the effects of that uh, perverted ex you know, government spending. And so states are saying, look, we'll adopt specie legal tender legislation that will allow you to transact in a voluntary gold currency if you want to do that between two consenting individuals. And we won't charge you sales tax on the transactions for exchanging a good and a service for a, a gold, uh, a piece of gold or a gold back in this particular instance. So I think it takes gold and it makes it easy is to answer your question. And um, some people like gold bars and gold coins. That's fine. But I think gold backs specifically add another 10 X layer of utility um, and make what was old new again and easy to understand. I totally, totally understand that. I mean, Bricks of gold are great as long as you leave them in a box somewhere. They're hard to spend at the store and just pick up a, a Diet Coke, right? <laughs> so <laughs> there's nothing like, there's per nothing wrong with that. It's perfectly fine. But mm -hmm. you know, if we if you look back in history, um, going to the Renaissance, the the gold florin was a game changer for all of Europe, and it allowed a a gold standard uh, to make trade easier throughout Europe. It's actually what started the Renaissance. Uh, trade led to wealth and wealth creation led to investing in the arts and the sciences and mathematics, et cetera. 
Um, and Florence became a center of trade. In fact, it became the center of the silk trade as a result of the gold florin. However, when you're traveling with all this gold, even if it's gold coins, um, you know, you're it, they're, you're subjected to robbery and theft. Uh, you're also subjected to shipwrecks if you're uh, putting it on a, a ship and trying to sail around. Um, and it was problematic. So what kind of made it more convenient were these bills of exchange, which started showing up around the 17th century. Um, and you would give your gold to a, like a, a banker and they would give you a, a, a piece of paper that said, this is as good as gold, this paper. Uh, and then that's how cash and, and uh, started to become created. These bills of exchange became paper that was backed by gold. But over time, the paper was removed by gold and no longer backed by the very thing uh, that gave it value. And it was free floating since. And here we are today. Gold has come full circle and is turning, evolving from a store of value, which it's been for the last few hundred years, and being remonetized into actual currency again in a format that's easy to understand, that is familiar and practical for exchanging purposes and spending. Gold that's spendable is what gold backs are. Exactly. And I know you recently had an opportunity to share on um, a NASDAQ segment that Costco, I mean, talk about making it accessible, that Costco has sold $200 million in gold in just the last quarter. Um, but those cost around $2,000 a piece. And you're making it possible for people to buy this through an ATM. So what's the cost for them? So um, the only problem with gold traditionally is that it's as as the prices of gold has gone up after after we we officially uh in the nixon era removed ourselves from the gold standard what happened was the price of gold in dollar terms shot up through the roof and recently gold has been hitting all-time highs so if you want to buy traditional gold it's usually sold in one ounce bars and those are around $2,300 per per one ounce bar, that's not accessible to everybody to, to pay that amount of money for gold. And so um, having fractional versions of the gold um, make it a lot more accessible. And the problem with fractional uh, versions of the gold, small amounts of gold, is that they're not economically feasible to sell for the typical... Uh, uh, let's say shopping plaza, a uh, gold coin store to sell $20 of gold. They can't really make any money. So what we did was we modified our ATMs to be able to dispense the gold backs. And that makes it economically feasible to sell as little as $20 of gold, um, which think about it. I want to go buy $20 of gold with for cash. Like that, that just didn't exist. Um, and that nobody in their right mind would have thought that would be possible, but an ATM distribution method coupled with gold backs makes that possible. And now people can actually dollar cost average in little as $20 of gold every day, every week, right down the street at their grocery store or shopping mall or gas station or convenience store, uh, with our gold ATMs. And I think that that's the magic was pairing that distribution method of an ATM kiosk format with uh, an amazing gold product, the gold back. And the marriage of those two leads to more accessibility to gold for more people. I think it's a wonderful idea. And I know our viewers are going to agree and they're going to want to know where they can learn more. So I know you gave us the website earlier. Can you give it to us again? Sure. Goldatm.com is our website. And if uh, right now we only have the ATMs in Nevada and Utah, but we have many more coming over the next months and in years, we hope to have hundreds and thousands of gold ATMs in the coming years uh, throughout the country. Um, if we're not in your area yet, you don't need to worry. We actually have an online store where you can buy them with your credit card or debit card. Um, that's shop.goldatm.com. Or if you go to goldatm.com, you just click buy online at the top and you can buy them from the convenience of your home today and we can ship them right to your door. So um, until the ATM gets to you, you can buy them online from, from our website as well. 
You've made it easy and easy to understand. Thank you so much for coming to share with us today. Okay, on good day. I really appreciate it. I know our viewers are going to go look for more information. So good luck, and we'll look forward to having you back for an update very soon. Thanks so much for having me, Lauren. I really appreciate it. You're welcome, and we'll be right back.